Oh shit, we got the call. Yo! Hello? Hello? Hello! Jesus, this, I, for, whatever. What do you want? What do I, what, I don't, yeah, I remember when I went on YouTube and searched out your stream and then typed in your stream chat asking you to debate me. Um, I, I remember all that. I've got a very strong opinion on what we should be saying to one another. Okay, look, you already don't get it. And that's really clear because I told you the first time on YouTube that I was triggering your chat and you hid the whole time because you wanted to play video games because you want to lie and then play with toys to make yourself feel better. Is the toys the video games or is there another toy? Video games are digital toys, yes. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because normally people don't refer to them as toys, so I was interested if you thought that I have, like, a He-Man playset underneath the desk that I'm playing on. No, or I know every leftist and every liberal wants to pretend that they are doing some kind of big art project when they're simply playing with toys that capitalism helped create, and I just think it's interesting that you guys don't want to call it that, but... Wait, what about the actual art projects that I do? I can actually draw pretty well, you know. No, that that's the same thing. That's also the wily, nefarious grasp of socialism denying me its true nature. Oh, so you want to debate socialism? Because I have about four different things that I caught you lying about in your debate with uh, Extreme Dad. And wait, I have... wait. Is it not art when I draw art? I, I, we have to settle you're one thing. Right now, you're already trying to do some kind of little leftist tactic where you're talking about the art that you draw instead of the meat of the debate, which is what I'm going to get into. Oh, so sorry, you, you you're right. I got that from I got that from the Frankfurt School. I'm sorry. You got no. I know exactly where you fucking got that from. You got that from Destiny and those guys because they love they love to say, oh, oh, tomato, tomato. What does tomato tomato mean to you? Are you avoiding well, answering saying. my question? This is another slippery debate tactic. You must have got this from the from the oh Herr Kaiser, the forefront listen. of all conservative thought. No, no, listen, please. I'm looking something up, and I just want okay. So, before we get into any of that, uh, you said in your debate with Extreme Dad, do you remember when you were going over sex and gender? Uh, I mean, I don't remember the specific debate, but I probably hold the same positions now that I do then. So you don't believe clothing has anything to do with gender? No, I do believe clothing has everything to do with gender. I don't believe it has anything to do with sex. That's our, Interesting. The clothing we choose to wear, apart from some like very obvious examples, like like the pregnant moo-moos or whatever, like the clothing that's supposed to fit well if you're pregnant, but the style of clothing we choose to wear is pretty much socially ascribed. It has very little to do with our biological that, sexual characteristics. Oh, that's interesting because my wife wears leggings, and I can't just put them on. They wouldn't fit me, and she can't wear my jeans and my work boots. Do you think that might be because you two are different sizes? I mean, we're the same height. But different, perhaps, weights? So then perhaps clothing does matter when it comes to sex. N no, in that case it would be body size that matters. You know I've worn women's clothing, right? Uh, what? I have a huge body. I'm a really big guy, and I've worn women's clothing. It didn't, like turned to dust when it touched my body. I just wore it. It fit That's fine. That's because you wore big women's clothing. Yes, and you would wear, I assume, men's clothing that fit your size. But if you were to wear men's clothing that was too small or too big, you would have a similar problem. I know how clothing works, Bosch. That's, listen, that's beside the point. What I'm saying is that the, the clothing that people wear is determined to fit your body shape. Like, if I go and I put on um, a bra, it won't work. Do you get that? Do you, can you just well, put on a bra? Could, well, you could if you wanted to. It wouldn't No, it hurt could you. if you wanted to, but I, I could eat fish oil if I wanted to, and that wouldn't do me any good. Like, Actually, I, I, I think could... fish oil increases the volume of your ejaculation. If I'm, or I could, that could be zinc, actually. I'm pretty sure fish oil does something for you. I don't care. My ejaculations are fine, and they're none of anyone's business here, because, like, like I'm saying, to see, again, you're trying to get off point talking about cum and ejaculation and wearing women's clothing when I'm specifically telling you that there's a reason that things are shaped the way they are. You can't. Yeah. Well, if I, if I buy medium-sized. You, you can't. 
put a square peg in a round hole. Go if, ahead. if I buy men's clothing from a department store, you will also find that it won't fit me. Are men's clothings, or people who wear medium men's clothing, a different sex than me? What, do they not have your size at the department store? What is this? They do, in women's and men's sections. They both no, have they clothing don't. that would fit me. Women and if they one, didn't, it would be because I was too fat, not because I was a man or a woman. No, women have wider hips. They have breasts. Okay, here's I an have, experiment. I have really wide hips. I don't know if you're in, into it, like, personally, but if you, like, sashayed, if you got your hands around my waist, you'd find a thick fucking, you'd find, like, a stacked set of cakes, you know, if Is your it, hands were... Is it normal leftist tactic to just say something gay when you're about to be backed into a corner? Wait, it's not gay. Those are wide hips. That would be straight by your logic. Is it just go full soy boy mode and just say, oh, if you touch my hips? I'm not talking about touching your hips. I'm talking about... The facts, the way clothing is shaped, the way human bodies work. Yeah, I, I, a XY male, I, I assume XY male, I'm pretty sure, have really wide hips, and I fit well into jeans that are made for people with wide hips. Oh, so you'd fit just as well into women's jeans as you would your jeans? Some, yes. How, how big are you? How, by what metric? Weight? Height? How big are you? Wait, and your chat here eight? is sending me little little shitty messages. I think that's really how big about wait. What what do you want? Six foot two, eight inches long, and six and a half inches around. Uh, two hundred fifty pounds. Eight inches long. You just said you were six foot two. <laughs> um, I'm a I'm a decently built guy. Leave me. I like it. Okay. So you think that women are decently built? They're all six foot two, eight eight inches around, or whatever you said. Are you six foot two? No, I'm five foot six. Okay, then obviously one's size and body shape can vary even if their sexes are the same. But men are always bigger. All men are bigger than all women? I think that's a pretty fair statement to say, yes. Oh. Um you're Do you have and you're some, five you have, five? Like, what? What? And you're five five? Why did you shrink me? Wait, did you not say five five no, before? I said I was five six again, another little leftist tactic. You you just mishear me in a way that demasculates me just a little bit further. Okay, if you're five, wait, demasculates you. Okay, wait, I'm really interested. If you're yes. the, if you're that height, have you never met a woman in your life that was taller than you? I've met no. women in my life that are taller than me, and I'm six I've two. I've met some some big freaks with wide shoulders and ugly faces, but beautiful women are typically um, like five foot to like five foot two and a half. You know the entire foot. modeling industry is made up of women who are about six feet tall, right? The literal no, archetypal standard of beauty. I know a model and she's very small. Interesting. Well, I know a model and she's very tall. So it seems we're at an impasse, two worlds colliding. No, you're lying. <laughs> Am I? All right, look, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna move on because this, this is immediately what I'm talking about. I present it's like, oh, I have evidence too. And then I say you're lying and you're like, I guess I am lying. So that's, uh, we're going to call that a point. We're All just right. You, you got me on that one. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll do better okay. for the next one. Okay. I just want to give you a good challenge. You know what? Why don't you pick a topic? Because I'm pretty sure I disagree with you on most things. <laughs> and I don't want to just rail down a list of things you weren't prepared for. Because I've been reading and studying and practicing and I have, Many studies confirming what I say. Changing. Um, well, you oh, said. Hold on, your chat is now messaging me again. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm not. If they're saying mean things to you, I'm not responsible for them. Okay. I, you can tell them to stop. I and disavow. Have some hey, guys, stop. Have some fucking respect. Um. All right. Well, you were shit talking socialism earlier. I don't know if that's what. What was I lying about with the extreme dad thing? I'm. You mentioned four things. We've covered one. No, that's the thing. We'll come back to that. I'm gonna let you have, oh. so we can we can move around. But I will be returning to that. Okay, I've got a I've got a good one for you. Um, do you or do you not love black people? What? Do you love black people? Why would I answer, answer the that? question? Do? Oh, I refuse to answer that question. You? Do you love hate white people? Answer Do the question. Do you hate white, white cis, straight, non-soy boy males like me? You can't answer the question, can you? I'm not going to. Answer the question. Do you love black people? No. All right. 
That sounds like a that sounds like a point in my book. Too too scared. Too scared to get at the real questions. I I'm not it. being scared. I said I'm not answering that question. That's right. a matter of principle. Well, I'm not going to be back again. Another trick. This, yeah. this is it. You just, yeah, you just said call. not answering that question. Just like in five minutes, you're going to say, damn, I got blown the fuck out on that question. It's all right. You're consenting. No, I, I have no regrets. I'll answer that question right now. All right. Do you love yeah. black people? Yeah, I love all black people despite everything they do, despite the studies. Sure, sure, I do. I love people indiscriminately. I have no amygdala in my brain. All right. Good to know. Me too. All Was right, your turn. It? You just yeah, your wanted turn. to make me try and make me sound racist. What? Ra what does race have to do with loving black people? You asked me if I love black people, which would imply I hate black people if I said no. What? No, that has nothing to do with race. I'm just so asking you if you don't love, love black, black people. people. What? So you don't love black people. Is that the question you're choosing for your uh, for your turn? And then I get to go again? Sure, why not? I love black people. Uh, very, very brave. I love black people. They're messaging me again. <laughs> In case you want to say something. To to my chat? Now they're, now they're asking me questions I just answered. They're saying, do you love black people? I don't care. This is exactly what's so funny about it, because I um, went to YouTube the other day. No, let me tell this. I went to YouTube the other day. And I come in your your little Dark Souls plain video games chat, and I shut up, and I I'm getting an, I'm how do I block people? Um, I I actually unironically don't know how to block people over Discord. Oh, probably. so you've never blocked anyone? No, I don't. I block people all the time over Twitter, but over Discord. Yeah, you're for deplatforming, but you don't block anyone. Uh... Are you for deplatforming? Because most of you seem to be. I watched the Sean Jen video, and he was talking about that. Is that one of the things you disagree with me on, deplatforming? Absolutely. If you disagree, if you d think, if you deplatform people, yes. Uh, well, I don't think I've ever deplatformed anyone. I've supported people being deplatformed. Why? Uh, why haven't I deplatformed people, or why do I support? No, why? Why to which portion of my statement? <clears throat> I'm saying if you support people being deplatformed, why? Uh, it would depend on the circumstance, uh, the specific person in the platform. Do you have like a specific example that I've supported in Let's the past? Let's say Steven Crowder. Yeah. Uh, if Steven why? Crowder was like banned off Twitter and YouTube and stuff? Why? Why would I be in favor of that? Yes, Vosh, you t typically you have to have a reason for things. Well, I'm not opposed to having a reason. I'm just making sure we're talking about the same thing. Um, it's, I'd be, I'd be in like favor of it. I'm going to the store with my son, and I'm asking him what he wants, and he keeps saying why. Well, there are two reasons with Steven Crowder. I think that Steven Crowder violates YouTube's terms of service. I think that his uh, conduct is unquestionably hateful. Then, now, then whether, now whether or not you believe that YouTube should be able to ban YouTube channels who have hateful content well i want and, to stop there i want to talk about that because if he has uh, violations of terms of the service then why wasn't he banned because there are terms of service violations that go unmet all the time because he has a huge he has channel millions of, of subscribers how could they not see that it's not a matter of him not having his pro oh shit it's not a matter of them not seeing the issue. There, huh? well no actually the the jar of laughing curse juice got me in dark souls but um, it's not a matter of whether or not YouTube sees no, that he is that. engaged in TOS violations. Um, the issue is whether or not they will actually follow through on previous promises to enforce that content. Like, for so example, with his, uh, for a wide variety of reasons, the most likely one with Steven Crowder would probably be that there would be a huge blowback if he was deplatformed. That would not be worth the, um, the benefit of deplatforming him. Hold on. Go in here. Turn off DMs from server members. You don't like my fucking chat members? You don't like my They're friends? They're all just repeating what you say. It's very obnoxious. Listen, I'm atop my Sermon on the Mount, okay? They're just following the They keep sending the me scripture. images that I don't want to look at. Wait, guys, this kid could be underaged, okay? I hope you're not sending anything dicey. I'm not underaged, but I'm probably older than you are. <laughs> 
Wait, how old are you? 27. Oh, you are older than me, shit. Looks like it, Sonny. Wait, if you're 27, then why are you Space C or C Space 1990? Wouldn't that make you 29? That was... No, I, I do hide my age sometimes online. C Space 1990 is the car that I have talked about on the YouTube stream. And I actually told your chat that the other day um, because they were getting extremely triggered about the things I have and how hard I work. How hard and, do you work? Do you work very hard? Yes, I work 16 hour days sometimes. Bam. Um, I don't have to work that hard. My capitalist ingenuity has allowed me to live a life of relative luxury. No, you're a socialist. You just get the money for free. You just play video games and lie. Well, wait. If you're a capitalist, then you should believe any wage which I am paid for my work is by market definition a fair wage. No, you didn't start that. You didn't start that business. You're just you're just playing on Discord. Oh, wait. I started a YouTube channel. My followers consensually, voluntarily donate to me money and uh, it's a, as a That's reward, I suppose, for the content I produce. Hmm? Capitalism is about having an employer. Well, I thought capitalism was about voluntary transactions between market agents. I didn't realize that the government-approved employer status was such a necessary component to you, you fucking statist. So I'm a statist now because I use actual definitions? Yeah, dude, you're a statist. I thought the okay. pure beating heart of capitalism... <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm a statist because I use definition and I, um, all right, so. Imagine believing it, it, you need to get permission from the state before you can become a voluntary actor in a free market. <laughs> this guy. I am just rubbing my face at how ignorant you turned out to be. You truly don't get it. Like, this is every debate you do. Someone comes in here and they say their point and then you twist it and you say, oh, you're actually a communist for saying that. And then the other person, they typically don't call you on it, but that's happening today. I'm not gonna I, just- I don't know if I've ever done that trick. I'm not a big fan of that trick personally. That, oh, you like giving to the poor? Well, you're a socialist. I don't think I've ever done that. No, it would be giving to the poor is capitalism. I see. You can't have charity and under socialism because the money's taken by force at gunpoint. I see. Well, first so... you get a visit. No, I hold on. I guess I'll hash this out for your audience of little soy boys. So first you get a. I'll summons. have you know I have plenty of soy girls in my audience too. Okay. No, you don't. They're all boys just saying they're girls. Anyway, right. you get a bench warrant. You go to court. Then you get threatened with jail time. Why don't you understand economics? I don't know, Zara, you're not... Why don't you shut up and mind your business? Listen to this, okay? You get a... Boy Easy squad. Squad. What? Boy squad. That's exactly what this is. It's just a little bunch of camper boys running camper around. Boys? Just a bunch of little boy scouts. That's all it is. Oh, wait, isn't a, a boy scout an honorable position? Because you're learning discipline and life skills? No, I, I'm actually against the Boy Scouts. I think it's just another pedophile hole that people go into. Oh, that's an interesting debate. Let's do that. Jeffrey Epstein, he was a leftist. Explain that. He was a leftist. He was a liberal, yes. He was a Democrat. Oh, yeah. I'm not a liberal. I'm a leftist. Why right. Would... Who are you voting for in this election? What? I'm voting for uh, Bernie Sanders, my dude. Bernie Sanders, he's Reincarnation of Lenin himself. He's a Democrat, isn't he? Uh, yes. Hmm, so that makes you a Democrat voter. Yes, I am a registered Democrat voter. Well, thank you. That's all I needed. Guess you're voting for the party of Epstein because you have no morals. Gotcha. You Okay, boom, there we go. Two are points. Are you in favor, just really quickly, are you in favor of um, uh, marrying children as an adult? What? No. Uh, like, and then raping them. Well, what is rape in this context? Oh, I mean, they're underage girls, and you're a man who's above age, and you marry them uh, with the permission of their parents, and then you rape them. That's what I'm saying. Are you pro or against that? No, I'm not a Democrat. Interesting, because it's actually Republicans who fastidiously fought to um, prevent Good. legislation from um, allowing those things to be banned, child marriages. Uh, there are no, multiple states in which that has been um, explicitly uh, forbidden by which the one? state senators who are Republican. No, it isn't. Uh, okay, you got me with that one.
It's actually not true, the thing I just said. It's I'll just, look it I understand the denialism is an essential component of being conservative, because only a, uh, a person who is hiding from reality could believe anything other than the Republicans are just simmering pedophiles. You too, California probably. California Democrats introduced LGBTQ bill to protect pedophiles who rape children. Fascinating. Would you mind showing that to me? Yes. Link it to me. Also, that has nothing to do with what I just said. It had nothing to do with child marriage, but I'll give it a look. Point. Let me get it. Hold on. This is the wrong website. Interesting. What website did you originally procure it from? Liberal propaganda. Interesting. That sounds like we a go. great website to get your information from. I'm going to present a different point. Give me a moment. I need to... I want to look in my book here. Okay. Don't, uh, don't accidentally download any CP while you're looking it up, okay? Um, Why would you accuse me of downloading CP? Oh, just my experience with right-leaning people has always been very similar. Oh, how many? Right-leaning people? How many right-wing people do you know who download child pornography? Every one of them. Every one of them. Wow, that's a fascinating argument. Mm -hmm. Let's unpack that. They okay? tell me, too. They tell me in oh, private, in, in confidence. They tell you, huh? Yes. Turn off your notification. Can you hear my notification sounds? Yes, I can. Oh, well, too bad. I don't give a shit. Why are you physically... Do you have a physical document in front of you? Of course I do. Is it... What... On what is subject is it? Wait, did you bring a binder to this debate? Hmm? Did you bring a binder to this debate? Did you not? No, I you don't brought... have anything. You just have your video games there and lying and this, saying, oh, this is all up shop for. You know what they say, boys from 1994 don't even know how to cook or binder. All they know how to do is play Dark Souls 2, do propaganda, socialism, and lie. You know how they say, and eat hot chip. Well, it's a meme, but effectively, I guess that's true in this case. I ate my hot chips earlier. I had some nachos. Okay, so why do you think Bernie Sanders is ever going to win? Why do you think anyone would ever want socialism? Why would I want to go from making all the money I do and having... Wait, what happened to that article you were going to link me on? Democrats passing a bill to protect pedophiles who rape children. It's not important. Interesting. Did, did the text of the article say something different from the headline of the website from which you originally found it? The website must have been taken down, probably because Google has that tendency to hide things. That's true. You know how they are. Google in the, uh, in the echo signs. They're always hiding stuff. Well, they are. They fired James Damore for basically just saying women and men are different. So mm -hmm. I really wouldn't be surprised if they just start pulling things down that I've looked up. Dude, that's all. That, that wasn't even it. They fired James Damore for saying, I am a man. That's all he said. He said, I am a man. And that was all it took. And then Google fired him. It was fucking crazy. I'm just, we're, we're all just laughing it up over here. My fam, we're just laughing it up. Well, I'm dead because. serious, okay? As a man, I'm not comfortable with the blatant misandry that Google has demonstrated in their offices. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, right. So, I'm, okay, so you do understand that point then, because I'm, I'm just going to say you... If you want to be sarcastic all the time, be a sassy little boy, then we can do that. It must be the soy coming out, I'm sorry. I should be straight-talking like a man's supposed to. If you can, that'd be great. All right, so what are we talking about? Socialism? Sure, why not? Okay. Um, are you a socialist? Why would I be a socialist? I wouldn't... No, I'm not. I'm a capitalist. Do you like I'm good things and dislike capital. bad things? I'm trying to keep it simple for you. I'm straight talking. Do you like it when things are good? Do you hate it when things now are you're bad? you're speaking down to me, and I, I think that goes against your, uh, your heightism video, doesn't it? Whoa! Whoa, talk about Victim Andy over here. I wasn't bringing height into it. I've made myself incredibly knowledgeable on the stupid shit you say, and that's why I have a binder, Bosch. Gotcha. Now that video, I, I didn't find any issues with, so we're not going to talk about that one. But which, the other one... Which video? Yeah, we can talk about um, your rant on heightism with a headache. Ah, yes. Would you say that was one of my, um, my best works, my masterpieces? I would say you were fairly logical there. Aw. So you agree, then, that when people are... Um subjugated to social conditions that cause them to be ostracized if you're 
mistreated consistently. Um, that it's usually uh, that's a good a very idea. Very interesting framing. Are you going to tell me that what black people are still slaves or something next? Because I, I know I see that trick. That was a very good step you did, Muhammad Ali style. I have no idea what the relationship between the two things you just mentioned are. Do you agree that short dudes in this country are kind of marginalized a little bit? Somewhat, if they're not alpha males, if they don't stand up for themselves. Sure, yeah, and, and there are and there are black people who judo. are like fucking alpha as shit and live good lives too. But for the most part, I would say that being short usually confers a disadvantage to a person, especially if they're a man, uh, though maybe a little bit to a woman. Um, would you agree with that? Yes. And do you agree then that as responsible and kind people, we should make an effort to try to alleviate the uh, suffering or malcontent these people experience as a product of their being short? No. I think that you have to suck it up on your own because that's what life is about. Oh, I see. The kind of weird of you to suddenly bring up the uh, the short complaining over there, the fucking Napoleon syndrome uh, clapback. It's not. It's not Napoleon syndrome. Okay. Napoleon, well, hey, next time, Napoleon, listen. I'm, I'm very stoic. I understand Napoleon not everyone can be like me. Seven. I calm. encourage you, just next time, just suck it up a little bit, okay? Don't worry about it. Just don't get too heated. No, I um, am sucking it up, and that's why I'm talking about it. Slurping it right up. Hey, listen, I've got an ultimatum for you, if we want to continue this conversation. You need to shut okay. your Discord the fuck up. How? Uh, there's no possible way you're receiving that many messages. You have to be deliberate. I am. It, it's how's the chowder. He's spamming me. And, mm. and Rocket Man, he keeps spamming Boomer, even though I'm barely older than you. Um, yeah, that's the Boomer cutoff. It's everyone who's older than you, right? How do I pause? How do I mute this? Uh, that's an excellent question. Uh, right-click the chat icon here. I'm gonna find out with my own Discord. Right-click the home icon. Yes, if you right-click on a person's name under direct messages, you can mute them and mute at whatever they are. So mute whoever it is who's messaging you. I mute all messages because it's many offenders. Uh, you can, I think, just right-click one at a time. If you mute Discord in total, you won't be able to hear me. Mute Pig Puncher. I like your name, by the way. I bet you don't say Tech Cop. You're a very tough guy. You're, you're a big scary guy, aren't you? Dude, he punches Little. pigs. Do you have any idea how strong pigs are? Pigs are not strong. I've had pigs. Like, real, like, big pigs? Like, the 250-pound, like, hog pigs? Hog? Yes, I've met hogs. Oh. I mean, how many hogs have you met? I thought we were off the gay stuff. See, we could just sit here and be immature all night. We can really... I can do that. I don't care, because, you know what? That's... I knew I was getting into that. Just call me gay. That's a good one. Ooh, he's gay. Does he know hogs? What's a hog in the gay world? I thought bears were the gay one. Hog means cock, and not just in the gay world. I'm muting you. Muting you. You just got muted too. You're mute. Okay, you're good. How does the chowder keep making noise even though I muted him? Uh, well, it's not making noise to me anymore. I'm not hearing the okay. deep beeps. Then I, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, wait. I just heard another one. Hold on. Our suffering is eternal, it seems. Because as soon as I get in here, I get harassed for having opinions and trying to debate and have an actual conversation. We hate free speech over here, so it's true. Any effort you make to actually suss out opinions will be met with antagonism. Oh, I know. I know you hate freedom of speech. That's why I'm, I'm in here getting shouted down by these beeps. I'm getting... Your microphone's louder than mine. How uh, do I turn mine on? That might be a product of my microphone being more expensive than yours. No, you I doubt it. Bid in the free market, you might be able to. I uh, doubt it. You know, achieve something of comparable. Oh, you can turn off notification sounds in the general settings. All right, yeah, go into the fucking. The gear. Yeah, the gear wheel. Find that shit. Godspeed. I've never hit it myself. You're in, User you're in desperate setting. times. Billing. Yeah, right. Streamer mode. Gotcha, Hyena. I, I don't care. I don't care. It's, it's not she's using point. magic. Did she shut it off? Did who shut it off? Did Hyena shut it off? No. No. You, no, no. Hyena has done nothing No, for you, I'm my just friend. getting more messages that say, get fucked, dickweed. I'll respond to you. 
Fuck you, faggot. I'm just gonna talk. Okay. Oh. So. Wait. You can also set your um, your profile to busy. Busy. You know, you've got like the little green light or the yellow light or the red light. If you set it to busy or to away or to do not disturb, I don't think you'll get the notification sounds. Do not disturb. Okay. All right. I believe I did it. Nice. Fuck yeah. All right, we're, we're sounding good. Thanks, chat, for lighting the way. Back to what you said. Do I like good things or do I like bad things? I believe that was your phrasing of socialism. Uh, yeah. Do you like good things? That's why I'm into socialism, because I like good things. Hold on. No worries, comrade. So how many deaths has socialism brought? Um, I don't think any. It's pretty crazy how successful Whoa. it's been so far. No socialism deaths. So if I Google that, I'll get nothing? Uh, yeah, unless Google's lying to you. You agree that Google tends to lie, right? Uh, not on freethepeople.org. Oh, I see. I have it bookmarked, too. 67 million people. Can I, uh, can I ask you a sincere question? Okay. Should I continue treating this with the levity that I have up until this point, or should I treat you like the deranged person that you are making every effort to convince me that you are? What are you talking about? Should I should I be like concerned? Should I be trying to talk you down? Oh, is, is this, this is this your epic preparation? Should should I talk to you like you're a deranged person? Do I sound deranged? I feel like I'm here. Listen, I, I have... just I just want to know if I'm gonna be like the straw that broke the camel's back. You know, if I'm going to be an accomplice in a school shooting. If I'm not, then the we can go forever. Shooting. No, I don't do school shootings. I'm not a Democrat. Uh, okay. So, Ooh. really quickly, you think that I'm a liar. Do you think I'm just like, um, like an ideologue who doesn't assess his own positions accurately? Or do you think that I'm like a malevolent person who's trying to deceive others? All socialists are malevolent. Gotcha. They do evil. They preach evil. They preach stealing, taking, violence, anti-business, anti-capitalist, anti-God rhetoric. Well, I won't deny some of the things you just said. I don't like business or God very much. Noted. Right. So, you don't think I want to help people? I'm not interested in... No. Okay. The socialists want to help themselves and pretend they're helping other people, but that's why they don't create, they don't generate, like a capitalist who makes a product that people need. I think I'm the wrong person to speak to on this because I do produce products people enjoy and they pay me handsomely for it. You D play video games online, that's not a product. Oh, you don't think that videos are products? Are movies a product? Movies are products because you can purchase them as DVDs, and you can go to a theater to watch them. A YouTube video is just built on wait. government infrastructure. Wait, wait, wait. hold on, you wait, you, wait. There are straight-to-video DVDs. You realize that, and, right? And so they don't show in the theaters. Too. Yeah, you could you could have any kind of DVD. Okay, right. So there, are, and you can just stream movies directly to your computer if you wanted. In fact, there are movies That's that are illegal. available online. No, no, for That's free. That's illegal. There. There are movies on YouTube that are produced for YouTube by studios. They're free, and you can't physically purchase them. They're only available online. They have the exact same type of product that I do, though obviously in their case they have a studio that helps them. I just do it myself, because um, I'm an entrepreneur like that. So I think I'm actually, by any reasonable definition, producing products which other people enjoy, and they compensate me for. No. Ah. No. Look, Why can't you I just say I'm a hypocrite? Why are you denying this. that I produce products? I could products? go out into the street and hand off my t-shirt and say, producing something. I'm not. I'm just wasting my time. Well, people are giving no, me the issue for. the issue there is that you didn't produce it. You bought it from another outlet and you're reselling it. You or bought your the... webcam from another outlet. Yes, the webcam is a tool to produce something. You bought Dark in the Soul. case In the case of the t-shirt you would be reselling, it's not your a tool. Your PlayStation isn't yours? So, in that case, nobody produces anything because everyone uses tools made by other companies? 
Capitalists produce things. I see. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think you might actually be beyond speaking to. Um, do you have any, like, uh, last point that you want to get to? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry it went badly for you. Uh, I look for therapy session with your your chat. Uh, they can all stop harassing me. I have 184 messages from How's the Chowder. I think that's very mature. And basically, yeah, too bad. Sorry things didn't go well for you. And anytime you need a spanking, you let me know. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Um, hey, can I ask you a favor? Mm -hmm. I won't ban you from chat because this is good memes and all, but if you ever act like too crazy, I'm gonna have to for your own good, okay? Too, oh, I gotta be careful, I don't trigger Vosh. No, 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 it's not about me, it's about Vosh. you. I'm gonna trigger your audience again, ooh. All right. Just... I, uh, I wish you the best, my friend. I hope you enjoy. Oh, the I will. Stream. I'll have the best. I work. I work a lot of hours, buddy. I make a lot of money doing capitalist shit in a free market. Can I offer you something before you go? Why? What if I told you there was an economic system that would allow you to live as comfortably as you do now, but I do. You wouldn't. You, well, yes, but you um, wouldn't have to work as many hours. Let me guess. It's communism. I was going to say socialism. Oh, let me guess. It's the same thing. Uh, it's tomato. No, it's tomato. Got you again, Republican. Do you think there's any difference between socialism and communism? No. I see. Well, then, yeah, communism. You I'm, think root I'm rooting for you, buddy. Playing video games and capitalism? Uh, yes, because one of them is a pastime and the other is an economic system. Capitalism is my pastime. I work for fun, buddy. I love my work. I am genuinely hardened to hear. He gives me and the opportunities I have. I love my Pontiac, my convertible, my wife, my house, my wedding ring. I love your wife too. Thank you. All right. Hey, man. Um, well, enjoy the um, bizarre and almost frightening degree of compliance you have with the system as it exists go. today. Here we go. Thank you. Good luck being crazy. What do you want for I can't end the call. You, I'm you playing Dark Souls. shit, boss. I'm not just going to let you do that. All right. Hey, I love you, man, okay?